Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori. I'm here to do your general reading for you. I hope all of you are happy, healthy, and having some fun. All right, let us go ahead, roll the zodiac dice, see what signs you might be dealing with. All right, so front and center is Aquarius, Libra. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Gemini. So you have all three air signs and you have all three water signs, but they're split by that Aquarius energy, okay? Something going on there, trying to do something for the greater good, humanitarian-wise. Um, yeah. Could be all within yourself or someone you're dealing with. Let us go ahead and see what message is going to come out here for you today. I'm going to read completely intuitively. I'm going to get you information. Let's see. Overall energy for the day. We're going to take a look at what you need to know. Two cards for what you need to know. Two cards for where spirit thinks that might be best for you to um, put your energy. Focus your attention. Focus your energy. We'll look at your love life, you know, your relationships in general. We'll take a look at your money, finances, career in general. And uh, we'll get you some outcome cards and advice from spirit. All right. Now, this is my, uh, just my totally intuitive reading here, my own spread, my own reading. So let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is going to be. Look at that. That's Libra energy. Using your head clearly thinking things through okay you're very on point i'm hearing so everything's just falling into place for you the energy is good the energy's your head is clear you feel like any information you need comes to you easily uh you can process the information that you're getting very quickly concisely nothing feels wrong here okay very very good energy I don't even feel like you are like in a, and it's funny because this is a divine feminine on here instead of a masculine for the king. And what I'm feeling is more subtle energy versus uh, the expected, lack of a better word, force of a divine masculine energy. So that's missing, that, that force. This is not about force. It's just receptive it's cool you're like i don't know in a very calm place here everything feels like it's coming together <clears throat> all right what is it spirit things you need to know about the upcoming day here or whatever however long this situation is for it may be different for each of you because there is no such thing as time okay time and tarot are both fluid so if the message reaches you when it resonates with you, with you it's meant to if it doesn't feel like it's resonating with you or making sense with you ask yourself why not have you already experienced this or is this something that you might be experiencing in the near future jot down in a journal somewhere the main topic of this message and see if it does come to you you know i love looking back at journals where I had a thought for a day or I, I expected something to happen. And I can look back and say, wow, I knew it was going to happen back then. Oh, I didn't see that coming. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see what, <clears throat> excuse me, what we have here for what you need to know. Let me get your second card. The first one is the Queen of Cups. Ooh. And the second one is the Five of Cups. There is something here that's going to be deeply emotional. So I'm getting this time. Okay. I have to tell you, I just did your daily reading. And it was your energy, okay, of feeling regretful. Um, so it could very well be. But this time I'm getting a little bit of somebody else may come to you and say something that they regret. Okay. It may like... It, and, you know, it sounds, I, I'm, it feels so trivial. It's almost like you're sitting here in this 
absolutely wonderful energy here and you know how it is you feel like every time you're you're on point and that keeps coming through and i'm hearing it as e n p o i n t e on point okay which i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong is a fencing terminology uh, yeah um term fencing term on point so like on guard but i think it's like when you tag somebody that might be on point so okay a tagging here so being tested is what keeps coming through you're in that energy where things are going along do 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 life feels great i'm happy as can be and then all of a sudden boom out of the blues something happens and you're like what the heck well that's what this feels like okay so what do we use tarot for to kind of give us a heads up of what might come our way and be prepared for it so that when it does we can make peace with it okay that queen of cups she's like oops i know i know every time i'm flying high i gotta i, I can expect something here to like just come in and mess the energy up a little bit but if i'm prepared i don't have to let it bother me i don't have to regret getting upset about it um i don't have to regret saying something i didn't mean to say okay so what you need to know here is that there might be a challenging energy coming towards you and if you prepare yourself and say i'm not going to respond to that i'm not even going to respond let alone react okay you're not going to react but you're not even going to respond you're going to be like i'm over here having my cup of tea or my glass of wine or whatever it is you have okay you're focusing on your happiness your peace and that's all that matters to you at this time you know if somebody else wants to have a snip fit and be harsh Don't do it. Just don't take it on. There's no reason to take it on and laugh. I mean, don't laugh at that person. Don't laugh during the situation. That's just going to escalate negative energies that somebody else is feeling. Okay, let's go ahead and see where spirit thinks it might be best if you focus your energies, your attentions. How can you get through whatever's coming your way easily? Okay, we already know. Don't react maybe not even respond all right look at that the ace of pentacles pretend it's a brand new person you've never met before you've never ever been in this situation before so how are you going to approach this they don't know you you don't know them you don't know anything about the circumstances oh you're looking at this like brand new fresh eyes fresh perspective and it's going to work out awesome for you. Let me get another card here. Oh, that's incredible. I love that. Yeah. I mean, and when you look at things from that perspective of not having any knowledge, no precon preconceived notions about something, all you can see is the good. Okay. It's funny, but that's all you'll see if you really honestly open, open-mindedly come in at it from an honest innocent perspective okay untainted unbiased then you will only see the good look at this queen of wands she shows up in every one of your readings my dears all right and we have the ace of pentacles here so somebody will recognize you your unique qualities because this queen of wands has to represent you libras okay your growth towards your north node here okay i mean this is just incredible when you come at the situation and this is advice from spirit okay when you come at this thing with confidence that things are going to work out the way you want them to this is a queen she doesn't doubt that when she wants something that she's going to receive it no she knows she's going to receive it and she's going to receive it in the for her highest good for in the best possible way for her it's not going to be detrimental to her she's not bringing anything negative towards herself she's got expectations of good and she's going to receive good and that's exactly what spirit is saying here 
okay? Just trust your intuition that whatever you're looking at, whatever it is, look at it with fresh eyes, fresh perspective. Start as an innocent and let it be just that, okay? There's something beautiful that could come here to you from this. A whole new something. All right, let me see what we have. I got to move my cards over just a little. They're big. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your relationship, see if there's anything in there. Maybe for some of you, that's where it's at. Now, I'm just going to look at relationships overall. It could be a lover. It could be a spouse. It could be a friend, co-worker, neighbor, somebody at the gym, the dentist's office, um, just somebody that you're dealing with somewhere. Okay, take it as it makes sense in your life. All right, we've got the eight of wands, so there's some sort of communication. Somebody may be coming in with some information. It's going to pack a punch. It may pack a punch. Now, let's see what the other card is here so we know what is happening. Three of cups. Oh, it's going to be ex exciting news. It's going to make you so happy. All right, see how she's got her fist up here? Like she's packing a punch. She's ready to deliver that news. She can't wait. She, look how fast she's coming in. Okay, so this message, this information about a relationship, about something that's going to make you feel awesome. It could be about a, a party, an event, a new romance. Hey, let me introduce you to my friend here, you know, a blind date. This is really nice. So any of your relationships that you're in, you might see it first off when you see like this person or, or whatever approaching you. You might be like, whoa, wait a minute. But if you just wait until they tell you completely, do not interrupt, I'm hearing. This is actually a good thing. It's an invitation. It's something that's meant to make you feel good. So that you could be getting invited to an event, out on a date. Um, yeah, it feels like an invitation. It feels like you're being invited to something here. But like I said, it's going to come in like packing a punch. Now, for some of you, I'm hearing that may mean that you might have to take action kind of quick. And you may, you know, Libras are not known for like just poof, jumping right in and deciding something. But it may have that energy. But I think if you just say, hey, can I have 24 hours to think about this? Or, um, hey, let me think about this for a few minutes even, that you'll be fine. Okay, so your relationships look good. Friendships look awesome. There's a lot of good communication back and forth here. Eight of Wands. You're out. You're doing things. There could definitely be an invitation to something here. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in the realm of money, prosperity, career, investments, hobbies, crafts, anything that makes you feel abundant, prosperous, or like you're a contributing member of society that brings you something, okay? So it's an exchange of energies in the sense of earning, feeling like a part of a bigger thing. All right. Ooh, I'm going to wait to tell you what card that is until I get the second card. And we will see what is going on here. Okay, all right. That kind of makes sense. All right, so what I've got here is the Empress. Ooh, I mean, this is big. This is massive here as far as your feelings of being in the right place, in control of your wealth, in control of your prosperity. What makes you truly happy? You're receiving everything that you need. You feel like you're getting everything that you need. It could be spiritual support. It could be financial support. It could be having the people around you, friends, family. You feel supported here, okay? If, since the Empress is a creator, she's the ultimate creator. She creates, well, she delivers human life, okay? But she's creating life, birth, birthing life, birthing creativity here. So if you are trying to create 
something new, wealth, prosperity, happiness, whatever it is, because of this card, we now have success, okay? Again, the Page of Wands here, this is a page energy, a beginning, a new start, a new desire, a new passion, a spark. It's the first step in the growth process, okay? So what, how does creativity come to us as a spark? And that's exactly what you have here. So that inspiration is here to grow something very, very big, something very, very beneficial with this Empress energy. It doesn't get much bigger than this. So there's going to be growth. There's going to be long-term satisfaction around this. Um, if this is a partnership let's put it that way a partnership for the benefit of both people but also for outside of like two people the community a family this is going to grow there's a lot of love here okay and it's going to be connected and it's going to be long term i just saw a frontier frontier internet truck out here I am going to see if I can now get Frontier service here. If I can. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I won't have any more of those slow uploads. Nine hour uploads. Oh yeah, the other day. I got to mention the other day. Um, I put out two videos and I didn't even write down the titles of them because I had to go to bed and let them upload and just hope that they would be done by the time that they were supposed to go out live. So I apologize. If you ever see a video... <laughs> It doesn't have a title. It means I was not awake when that aired and it uploaded overnight, okay? And then I didn't couldn't get into um, my system <laughs> to put the titles in until last night. I'm so excited if I can possibly. And they were just over right over here for a while. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, please pray with me that I can now get their service in here. All right, let's go ahead and see um, what your outcome for this message is going to be here. And then we will finish with some words of advice from Spirit. Okay, let's see what the most likely outcome is going to be here for, you know, for however long this is going to take you. It could be a day, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be a year for some of you. But I see this as like a day. I really do feel like for most of you, it's just over a day or so. I am seeing up to, you know, a week. All right, let's go ahead and see what the most likely outcome is. There it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. The Ten of Cups. Extreme happiness, joy, bliss, connection, celebrations, fun. And Ten of Cups is not instant gratification. It's one, two, three. Do you see what I'm, where I'm going with this? It's long term. It's stable. It's reliable. It's something that's going to continue to grow. It's a slow burn. It's that not, I got to get to the finish line right now and have exactly what I want right now. It's that growth, the expansion, taking that creativity that spark okay and just going with it and over time it's benefiting you and everyone around you oh my goodness i love this all right let's see what words of advice spirit has for you today words of advice from spirit to you from the collective conscious from my guides from your higher power directly to you. What is the advice? Stability. Get ready to enjoy the finer things in life. King of Pentacles here. That is incredible. I thought we had the Queen of Pentacles, but I guess not. We got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups. All right. Doesn't matter. Okay, so this is about sitting back long time growing old look at the length of the beard in wealth 
in happiness, in prosperity, in stability, in courage, in bravery, whatever it is, it's going to just keep growing. Okay, beautiful. Spirit's advice is just sit back and start enjoying the blessings that you have in your life right now. I love this message for you. Let's get you um, an or uh, angel number, oracle card. Let's see what's going to come out here for you. Let's see what's going to come out here for you. 1919. Woohoo! It's about cycles, okay? It's also about karma coming your way. And that's what this is right here. That's what this feels like. It feels like, oh, all the good things, all the good karma just hit you at once. And everything is just making so much sense. You're at peace. All right. There is a warning here. Keep in mind, there is a warning. Somebody is definitely going to try to trigger you, test you, push your buttons. If you know this ahead of time, what can you do? You can plan not to react or respond. Okay, you've got to have use good judgment here. You have the influence. You have the influence. You are the queen of wands. Okay, you're charismatic. You influence people through your actions, through your confidence. People, you inspire people. Okay, that's power. You have power in the king of swords, queen of cups, queen of wands, empress energy, king of pentacles. I mean, you have the power. All right, this is about the cycles of life. Things come, they go, they build, they grow, okay? It's about changes. It's about things kind of not that quick burn, but the slow and steady burn where things change. You know, it's everything in life is cyclical. You'll have your ups, you'll have your downs. And of course, right now, this does feel like it's a major rebirth for some of you. All right, so this card says... Karma will be paying you a visit soon. Release your need to control because you cannot force anything to happen. So please do not overreact, react, and possibly not even respond to this situation, okay? Learn your lessons so that you do not repeat them in the future. Make some space for these new beautiful experiences to come in. And just remember to be grateful for what you have right now. Because when we're grateful for what we have, we bring more of it to us. All right, love that message for you. All right, let's get you some letter dice here. It is a wild, so I will re-roll re that. I'm getting Virginia, West Virginia, Viola, Vivian, Wayne, Tanya, Larry, Larissa, Vanisha. Wow, I can actually see that in writing on the dice. Um, almost every letter is there for it. Um, Wonderwall. That was a song I, I know by a British band. Uh, I can't come up with the name of the band right now. Um, ukulele. Maybe somebody plays a ukulele. Luke. Keith. Essex. Roxanne. Raven. Steve. Stefano. Livy. So I'm probably short for Olivia. Venezuela came out as I started to roll. Another wild. All right. Waffle. Wayford. Verna. Vernon. Abby. Omar. Noah. Ogden. Bobby. Bonnie, I was going to say Boz, which is coming out, but I then heard Fozzie, okay? So I'm hearing the Foz from Happy Days, and then Fozzie, I think, is from Sesame Street. All right, Faye, um, 
Favreau, Favreau, huh. couldn't figure out what the noise was. My whole house was vibrating. I still don't know what that is. Um, frappe, somebody just started, got themselves a frappe. Somebody just went through line, just got your frappe. Iron, that's different. Iron Maiden, what is up with all the music today? I love it. I absolutely love it. But it, it must be a musical day for somebody. Um, or quite a few of you. Exeter. Eva. Levins. Renee. Raymond. Aria. I heard Tasia. Yolanda. It's another wild. So it's all three wilds. It's like the lucky sevens that keep coming through for you. Something good's coming your way. <sighs> Rory. There's one I haven't had before. R-O-R-Y. Query. Like a question. Quail. Rosita. Saint Zed. Uh, Georgia, Wayland, Wren, Lara, Leah, Libby. Wow, it's so hard to hear today. Ali, Mo. Sophia, all right, DC, Jade, Jaden, Jamal, Samuel, Melissa, Mary, Demi, St. Luke, Ducky, Decker, Utah, Griffin, Gemma. Oh, Gemma, are you back? Because your name used to come out all the time and then it stopped. Uh, Germany. That's the first I've had that in a long time. I'm hearing Aria again. Allison, Alita, Althea. Massey, not Mazzy, Massey, M-A-S-S-E-Y. Fickle, Feckle, Fern, Carol, Cara, Paige, Deacon, Dean, Dad, Dad came through. Aggie, that's what I've got for you guys. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this message. If you have, tickle tap, booper zap that like button, claim it in the comments. Also, if you are interested in a personal reading, please email me. I'm still running my super savings on these reading ridiculously low prices. As long as you guys keep taking advantage of it, I'm going to keep running this special okay so uh send me an email and i will send you all the details all right my friends my libras i hope you have a fantastic day i hope you've enjoyed this message and if you're new here welcome welcome and i hope you come back all right much peace love and happiness Bye bye